The process of getting tortoises introduced here at the Springs Preserve involves many components, one of which is regulatory. We want to make sure we have uh, tortoises that we have permits for. In this case, these are tortoises that were given to us by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that were previously captive. The freedom they found here also comes with a lot of responsibility. We're trying to restore an ecosystem and part, an integral part, a keystone species, if you will, is a species that's integral to the ecosystem that it needs to function properly. So by putting tortoises out here, uh, it, it provides homes to a host of other animals and it's a, uh, what we call a thermal refuge, a place where they can go in the heat of the summer to get away from the sun. Today, they'll be just as well fed and watered as on the original site of the springs. They're herbivores, they, they're going to eat a lot of vegetation and they have to have enough vegetation, annuals, perennial plants, you know, to sustain them through the entire year. So you don't want to put too many and then they're, you know, competing for food. You want to put them in a, basically a lush habitat. And this particular habitat has some irrigation for some of the, the, the plants along the trail. So the tortoises will have a readily accessible source of water. So that'll be beneficial to them. With all the natural and built-in benefits of this habitat, we've also wired them for tracking purposes to monitor their health and travel patterns. The main uh, crux of our research is, is going to be uh, restricted primarily to making sure they're healthy and that they're contributing to the, the ecosystem. So uh, the transmitters will be on for two years. We'll get an idea of their distribution and whatnot. Even this exhaustively studied species is still revealing some remarkable secrets for desert living. One of the, the main discoveries recently for turtles and tortoises um, is that there's vocalizations. So for instance, we have a certain hearing range and tortoises happen to be below that hearing range, sort of like the subsonic vocalizations in elephants. So a very similar thing, except it's more clicks and, and chirps and that kind of thing. They're not the most sociable of animals, though, and they like their room to roam, which is why we've strictly limited their numbers. We don't want people, you know, bringing us their pet tortoises that they're, you know, if they're moving out of state or for whatever reason or they had babies, we, we don't accept any animals of any kind. Now that they're burrowing in for their first winter of hibernating here, it's unlikely you'll see them. But it's worth the walk for all the lessons this habitat has to offer and the possibility of coming across one on warmer days and as the seasons change. There are several trails here at the Springs Preserve and one of them goes right through the 15 acre habitat. And it is possible, uh, typically spring and fall would be the best time to see tortoises, you know, just out and foraging. Uh, it's not a sure thing, just like the fox or the other species out on the, on the site, you're not guaranteed to see one, but uh, they are there.